everybody. Ellie and I just got to Lake Wazi again. We'll be here today on Friday and then we're coming back in two days on Sunday. And um, we are all by ourselves. Most of the group we were with last time isn't here today or won't be or isn't right now or something of that variety. So we are going to just do what we did last time, but on our own, which will be interesting, probably. <laughs> Yeah, but it should be fun. So today we're starting in Bluegill Alley this morning. Basically, it's just a low, not a super deep area with some fish cribs and hopefully we'll get to see some fishies. But uh, I'm already being eaten by mosquitoes and I think Ellie is too. So we're just gonna hurry up and get going. Okay, me and Ellie are pretty much set. We've got our BCDs and the whole tank system set up. And uh, we're pretty much, pretty much ready to go. So you get to go in the special little housing now. Strap you on, tie my wrist. The best thing is you don't have to go through training for this. Yeah, you get just get to sit back and watch. Um, but we're definitely starting with a very, very like simple, easy dive this morning. The spot we're going to could not be more simple. And uh, there's not even like that much depth. So it should really just be a good start to the day really relaxed and we can just work on some technique and have some fun i'm not worried about it because we did this spot first last time we were here with the whole group and they showed us around um we also know there's some other divers at the other end of the lake so we're not completely alone it's not scary by any means it's just simple and easy and fun and we've checked everything we're not in a rush <laughs> It'll be yeah, it'll be good. So, yeah, in the housing you go, and we'll carry everything down. We have to go down this little ramp over here, and uh, and then we'll be set. And it'll be actually kind of cool because I didn't take the GoPro on this dive site last yeah. time, so this would be the first time we record this one. And uh, there were a good number of fish when we were here last time, so hopefully there will be this time. Maybe last time there was even supposed to be a pretty big monster of a fish, so maybe he'll still be around and we'll find him. Thank you. 
sun is so bright. And in typical Wisconsin fashion, while we've been here, there is not a cloud in the sky. I hate it. I really do. It's too bright. It's just too bright. The sun's beating on you. I hate it. Wait, I have sunglasses. Anyways, Ellie and I are having a little lunch break. We spent, um, according to my computer, about 30 minutes on the dive. I maxed out at 34 feet. Ellie was at 30. Um, and that's just because I went kind of into the abyss a little bit. Not necessarily intentionally, but the lack of a floor made it kind of easy to keep going down and not necessarily know how far I was going. Although I was still aware because I was kind of freaking out a little bit. <laughs> Not like panicking, but just like where we are at in the lake, you can often see the the like floor of the lake and there's lots of sunshine and all this stuff. And then when you start getting into the depths of it more, you look down and all you see is just like dark blue nothingness. And it's a little creepy. Well, cause it used to be a quarry. So we stay on like, you know, when they like mine, they go down in circles. And so we usually stay on like the first like right. layer or so. But um, the second layer is when you get into your first thermal climb. And it drops to like 60 feet, like instantly. And so it gets cold and kind of dark quickly. But that's okay. There's some people on the other side of the lake. Oh, we saw lots of fish. Mm -hmm. um, I even got pretty close to some. Those would definitely be on the video because I just like floated there and let the thing come to me so that was cool what was your something you really liked you were doing good with the whole like buoyancy uh <laughs> part that's hilarious because i feel like i was not doing good at buoyancy but i tried but there was um there's also like this obstacle course where you go up and down and you like try to swim through things they look like hula hoops kind of except for they're like diamond shaped yeah and i had fun doing that it was a nice test and i'd like to do it i wanted to do it again at the end but then my ear wasn't clearing and no matter how hard i like tried to clear my ears um this one would always clear this one would never clear so i yeah we're battling ear issues today hopefully a little break will help with that i think there's water in it yeah probably well yeah so nice starting dive i think for us and then after lunch the plan is to go to where we went last time for the second dive that's called Sherwood Forest, and um, that has a lot more trees. Um, there are some fish cribs again, and uh, like an underwater boat, um, some tunnels and stuff like that. However, we don't really know where any of that stuff is, and it's all spread out in a much larger area than what we did just now. But I so, think if we do a circle, it'll be fine. Yeah, we'll have to find it, but it's okay. We'll just stay in our area. And the nice thing, at least, because they have the thermoclines here, you like know when you're starting to just go straight down because suddenly you're going to get very cold. And so if you're getting cold, you know you're like around 35 feet today. So, Sans, you're not cold. You know you're uh, not sinking to the bottom of the lake. I don't think that would be an issue, but okay. I would notice from the things that I'm falling down around, you know. Yeah, I would just notice sometimes I wasn't when you're by like the trees here. If I wasn't looking at them, I wouldn't realize if I was looking into like just the water, mm -hmm. it, it was hard to tell and stuff like that. And then I'd look back at you and you, I'd be like, oh, she's like another foot above me now and stuff like that. Yeah, I was not going down. Uh -uh. I didn't necessarily want to either. I was trying to just stay on the outside of the trees. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'd want to go deeper without some friends with us. Uh -uh. At least not yet. Mm -mm. Maybe later. Uh -huh. Okay, we're gonna enjoy our lunch and Ellie wants to read her book a bit. Yeah! And then we'll go back out and I guess today we'll, we won't have to be here so late like last time. Which is probably a good thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, until then, I'll have to replace the battery too. Okay, we're getting ready to go on dive number two for the day. It'll be our last dive for the day. And then we'll be back in two days to probably do all of the stuff all, all over again. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty fun, so I don't mind even if we do the same sites over. We'll see.
All right, we are done for the day. Our second dive went, I think, very well. There's a mosquito in here trying to kill me. Um, kill it. Yeah, I don't have a lot Wait. to say. I don't have a lot to say without giving you guys the whole like debrief, but it went super well, I think. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Mosquito. Ah. <laughs> and we found Wait. all. I can't kill it sideways, but I'm trying. <laughs> and we found all of the like underwater things That's that we wanted lot. to find. We wanted to find better. We wanted to find better cement. The cement. Oh, okay. Yeah, we found, so we went, and we found the boat, we swam through the boat twice, we found the underwater skeleton twice, and we saw the, like, concrete, like, sewage pipes, and eventually we went back to them, and at first I tried to get Ellie to swim through the ones I thought were what we found last time we were here, they were way too small, and she was like, nope, and then I kind of... Re- where we were actually just had like a little field of pipes and so we just kept like jumping from one to the other and Ellie would check and see if it was big enough and she'd be like nope and finally we found some that were big enough but they weren't the ones from last time because they still weren't big enough like I still had trouble fitting through but I don't know maybe we'll find them next time I know when we were here last time we definitely swam, like dove a bigger area than what we did individually now but um we still aren't super familiar with like this spot because it is spread out over a larger area. So we did what we could, and uh, it was still like a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, now we're going to go home. Maybe if we get there in time, we'll even fill up our canisters. But I'm not sure if we'll make it. But we'll see. But good day. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of your bars. That was so. Now we've done four dives alone, and these are by far two of the best, I think. Yep, the first two. We're not super great. These two are very good. And we were much better about, like, our communication and knowing what we wanted to do and, and like, troubleshooting. Because especially on this one, we didn't know where things were. We knew the general idea, but we didn't know if we should go one way or the other. And so sometimes we would just kind of float there and just kind of, like, I think I got it. point around until we both agreed on a direction we go and see what happened. So it was very good. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about it. All right, let's go home.